generous with it, Joe. Have you forgotten your Edgar Allan Poe? You should have known better. Well, you never really could resist sampling a fine wine, could you, Dorian? But then, of course, I planned on you being thirsty. You are going to hate to admit I'm always going to be several steps ahead of you. You know, Dorian, ever since you inherited your half of Victor Lord's estate, you've become so arrogant and so undisciplined. Victor, there was a man who insisted on discipline. He used to say it separated the winners from the losers. So I wonder what that make you My goodness, I know how much you hate it. Being here in this nasty, cramped root cellar in Victoria's cabin. If the root cellar aggravated your claustrophobia as much as it did, I have to wonder how you're going to react when you're in some place much smaller. Is this Mr. Edgar's? Yes, this is Victoria Carpenter speaking. That rather large package we spoke about? It's ready for pickup and delivery. that this woman has done to poor Victoria. No more. Wake up, Dorian. It's time to rejoin the living and the dead.
There's no need to shout, Dorian. You! What do you think? I had this room rebuilt exactly as it once was, just for you. Look around, you'll see that it's been restored down to the very last detail. Except, of course, for a few minor additions. Well, I wouldn't be so ungrateful if I were you. You know, I went to a lot of trouble, and I worked very hard so that you would feel at home here. After all, you've always wanted to come back to Landfair. Well, here you are. Only, of course, you're not in residence in the main house. You're in residence down here. Victor Lord's secret room. Let me out of here. Obviously, the door is locked. This is plexiglass. You can't break it, so don't try. You know what my advice to you is, Dorian? Get used to your new home, because you're never leaving here. <laughs> 